guys, it's William here. So I'm just gonna sit down here, you guys can see me nice and clear. So today we are going to review the Easy Clean Tire Wash Station. So um, I recorded the whole thing earlier and with technical difficulties, something didn't happen and it got it's not here with us. So I'll show you guys what I used to put in it. We're not gonna fill it. Um, it's already pre-filled and I'm gonna put the tires. So it's pre-filled as you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see that from that angle. I use silver green. All right, this is a gallon. Um, three weekends, gets me a gallon, give or take. So, start it off. You're gonna need a rag, all right? When you buy this, it's the eight scale one. You get this easy clean tire thing to hold the lid up. I really don't use them that much. You get three adapters, three things. You get a 12 mil adapter for your 10 scale program. You get a 17 mil for your eight scale program. And you get this knob that you go right here and you just use this to spin, all right? So we started off with this top plug, which is your eight scale chuggy, followed by your eight scale buggy. Then your short course, your stadium, and your 10 scale buggies, all right? So you have two, three options when you buy these boxes new. Links will be in the description for them. You have just the eight scale platform, so just your buggy and chuggy, which I would recommend if you're running chuggy. Because when you put this lid over, your truggy tire is here, your lid sits like this. So, something I wish they could have done, but I don't think that's capable, was um, move this somewhere else here or have a higher box. But uh, that's all right. Everything else works perfectly fine. Your other option is you shoot the three 10 scales, and then your other option is all five. So we're gonna start off, we have seven sets of tires over here. We're gonna just wash one of the each. So we'll start off with my eight scale buggy platform. So this is my whole shot. It is an X4, you guys, yeah, X4. And this is a PEI red clay run tire. So I ran this on the island practicing this past weekend. You see there's some dust on it, some debris. So put it on in. So, this is what's going to happen. You just plug this piece right through there. Fits like that. You got this piece, put it over on the other side. Um, some of you guys can see this. I use this for a brush if I need it. Um, you guys will see later what I use it for. So I just get it started, make sure she spins free. I close the lid, put my hand on top like this, and I just kind of spin it and wait. You give it about five to 10 seconds. Sometimes you go a little longer, it depends. Um, I kind of have it now where I can look at the tire and know how long to go for. So. That's it right there. So then you grab your little rag here and you wipe here. Wipe on the inside. And boom, she's clean. Just like that. Pretty easy, isn't it? So now we'll jump to a two of buggy tire. Here she is right here. This is a J Concept Rips. All right. Here we go. Just gotta get this all lined up. Sometimes it takes a little while to get the hole lined up and you just gotta Wiggle, wiggle her around and move it around a little bit more. So she moves pretty free here, as you can see. Um, I want to grab this. I want to dip it in the simple green in the back and just hold it there on the ribs, just to make sure I get deeply into the ribs. Um, get all as much as possible. Um, you don't need to do that. It's just something I like to do. Um, we run ribs in a lot of our stuff for two-wheel drive. So there we go, nice and clean. So now we're gonna switch over to a J Concepts two wheel drive buggy sprinter, super soft green compound. So this is my two wheel drive rear. So again, you guys can see how clean they are already. Um, so they're already pretty clean because I ran them just on like a dusty track, it wasn't wet. As we get into the next couple sets of tires, you guys are gonna see how caked tires can be at some of my local tracks. So then there we go, we're gonna drop there. You can see a little bit how clean it is there. Nice and clean, nice and clean. All right, so now this is what the tire ran over at Shady Pines. Um, has one running on it. It is a four wheel buggy tire, so 10 scale. It is a little caked up there, so this is where it gets, I like to take a little more time when I'm cleaning them. And it gets a little caked up. I'm not sure if you guys could see, if you, how much you guys can see. Um, oh. So. I have one tire that gives me problems. I think it's this one. So there you go. All 
right. Sometimes you just need a little extra oomph to get them going. So I'm just doing this the um, inside side beam right, side wall right now. There we go. There we go. And you can see how shiny that is now. Perfect, right? So then now we'll grab the next one. This is a foil drive buggy back tire. I apologize for my dogs barking right now in advance, guys. So we're gonna record like this. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go, we're all getting all ready, all set. And yeah, so we'll see what happens. Again, I apologize for my dogs barking in the background, I thought it was annoying to you guys. Um, so we're just gonna run out, and she, she's already, she looks pretty clean to me already. So, you guys can see, she's clean as clean can be. So that's it, guys. That's how quick it is. Um, I have some stadium quick tires here, too. Uh, I guess we'll do the rib stadium too over here. So I'm gonna go like this and try to find the hole up again. So again, I'm doing this in real time for you guys so you guys can feel it in like an actual procedure. So you guys can kind of have an idea how long it actually takes. Um, it takes a little chunk of time. Um, so benefits of this one, and I'll tell you guys right now that I find is everything's contained. So all your stuff's contained. You don't got to worry about, oh, what's this going to be? Oh, what's that going to be? It's all contained, right? So, you don't got to worry about keeping it can keep mass or nothing. It might take, a, some people say this method takes a little longer than some other methods that are out there for cleaning tires. But I personally like this method. Um, so, again, that's easy clean. They work great. And great customer service. If a part breaks, they ship it out to you pretty quick. And yeah, so while we're here, guys, imagine just finish off the last one. Um, this is a rear sprinter for a stadium. So I'll finish it off because the last one on my table. Just so you guys can kind of see what it is. So this would be a complete seven, seven tires that we just did in this time frame. Um, and of the seven, four of them, I would consider uh, caked tires. So the tires are caked pretty well. Um, some other methods I recommend doing, um, cans of air, or just air compressors, stuff like that. Uh, blow off your tires if you want. Um, kind of all based on you and what you can do and what you feel comfortable doing. Um, I know that this method works for me. And then at the end of the day, I let them dry. And if I need to put them back through again, I do and I will. So there we go, guys. That is all my tires done. So that is the Easy Clean box. Everything's contained, everything's great. Gotta love it. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. It's pretty good. Hope this is my first time trying this setup out for camera angle. Let me know what you guys think below. And yeah, so we're gonna hope we get this up. You guys will see this hopefully within the next couple days, around probably next week on a Wednesday, maybe even a Tuesday. We'll see how I go. Um, I'm gonna brand you and edit you and upload you, so. All right, that's it, guys. So I have a race tomorrow, weather pending. It's on today's Saturday, race on Sunday. Uh, I'll be running two of our buggy, four of our buggy, two eight scale buggy. Haven't decided if I'm going to run four of our short course, two of our short course yet or not. Um, one of the classes, maybe I might run all five. Don't think, I think I'm only going to run three, but we'll see what happens. But they, a couple guys asked me in the local, it's a club race. A couple guys asked me to race a couple of classes, so I might switch around, but we'll see what happens. So I'll pick you guys up probably at the race tomorrow if you all are following my social medias. If not, then I'll see you guys in the next video.